day and uh, some as uh, his guests were saying now the war was called the war to end all wars but unfortunately as history would prove in 1939 the world went on to a second war um, but uh, proceedings are continuing in Paris where you saw the uh, uh, Mr. Macron Emmanuel Macron was with, with his wife Bridget uh, welcoming guests for the official global celebration that's taking place in Paris in France. Let's now take you back to the sad moment when many black Africans perished in the English Channel on their way to join the Allied forces in Europe during the sinking of the South African warship, the SS Mendy. Be quiet and calm, my countrymen. What is taking place now is what you came here to do. We are all going to die. Jim Jamangile, do you remember these words? Spoken by Reverend Gyoba as the English Channel swallowed you and 600 men. The tragic tale reverberates like rattling rifles at war. Despite this, there was no surrender, as many took on your boots. That was a very unpleasant uh, night uh, to all the inmates of SS Mendy. To Clearly, Black Lives Matter is a century-long campaign. Unarmed, you are part of what's perceived a white man's war. Stunned by your bravery, Mnwabisi, your brother's son, took up arms. But this was a different kind of war, on home soil. When I joined the National Defense Force, or when I decided to be a soldier, I joined like any other person. Just, I want to defend my country, I want to go and fight for my country. The battle continued through the years. And soon, under the blue African sky, we would be equal. Jim Jamangile, your sons and daughters from either sides of the battle line stood guard, ushering in the commander-in-chief. It's a new political landscape. And to oppose all that may harm the republic. But the murky political waters would take the republic by storm. I've taken the decision to resign as president of the republic. Despite the resignation of their commander-in-chief, your sons and daughters stayed true to the task at hand, protecting our borders and our neighbors, and at times paying the ultimate price. Soldiers have no right to life. That's our uniqueness. Soldiers have no right to life. They too gave life from a tree in Mozambique, gave hope to orphans who lost their parents in Nigeria, and built a school for children in the DRC. We're an instrument, uh, the last line of defense of the RSA. And then of course, in the defense force itself, when everything comes to a halt, the defense force comes into the picture. And then we try, in fact, to a limited extent, of course, to build our own inherent capabilities to be able to do everything. Jim Jamangile, as we remember you and your fallen countrymen, we can't forget that some graves lie unmarked on foreign soil. To you and your descendants, who remain faithful to the Republic, we say, salute. <laughs>